Eagles on the win tonight. Uh, never a doubt, right? I mean, 47 21, but let's just kind of go back. Uh, Wapaka came out in the first quarter, got that score early, but you guys didn't, you know, you guys didn't hang your heads or anything. You guys, uh, you know, came back and really came back strong and, uh, and answered that first score. Well, thanks for having me, guys, and thanks for being here. Um, we have a lot of inexperience in our team, guys coming back. This is one of those things we knew there would be some growing pains. Uh, they came down the field and we weren't, I don't think we weren't prepared, but they weren't playing at the same level as they had in the back was. I gave them a pack of credit, but we responded, came down, had a nice score, kind of weathered the storm, made a lot of mental mistakes tonight that are fixable. Didn't get much help from uh, the other crew here, but um, I feel that we have the bright pieces. We just got to fix those little things, and, and that's my job to make sure we get that done. Yeah, and actually, you know, after that first drive, the, the defense settled down and everything. And uh, again, special teams came on in the second half, made up some big plays with, you know, as far as field position. But yeah, I think I might jinx it at halftime because we just said, you know, like, it wasn't, there was a couple holding calls, but other than that, it wasn't bad. But then the second half, well, back you got to give them credit, came out and, uh, you know, got those two scores to really make it interesting. Uh, what was your message to the kids on the sidelines? And boy, Chris Manderwell coming up with a big interception and yep. the score there, that really kind of just turned the Yeah, it did. I mean, well, back guys, their quarterbacks are a great athlete. They have some big guys that have been playing for a couple of years. So I feel like, you know, their passing game, like they, they stopped running it as much. They went to more of a trips. I think their play was pretty much school for a pass, and it's not their quarterback would run it, which is a, you know, it's, a, it's not a play, but it's he's a rat that I think. So. But I thought we responded, we weathered the storm, which is what the young teams have to do. Uh, I think Trey Shane might have tipped it. Chris Vanderbilt and, uh, got the ball. That was a huge play, but turnovers are a big key to any game. We converted, and then we were able to make some plays. Uh, every time we had a penalty or something, I wrote down, but then we usually responded in a positive way, which tells me there's a lot of resiliency on this team. And if we can fix those things, we're going to be uh, a much better team than we were tonight. Yeah, that's what we were saying up here, too. It's just things you'll address, you know, in practice and everything, in the second half. And then getting some of the younger players a chance to get on, you know, on the field late, too. That's kind of that's going to pay dividends. It's fun. It's, it's crazy on the side lane because we're, we're always trying to get the right kids in. And you don't want someone not to play and, and call them time off. That's, that's my stuff. we got to fix that. But to score 47 points, you know, and not play maybe very well, that just tells me what we can do better. Uh, we're going to face tough, tough competition as we go through the conference, but uh, I'm proud of our kids and our coaches. Uh, it's a good first win, and we'll go to next week to see where we got to be one and all there. Well, right, exactly, and that's the next question. Seymour, do you know a lot about it? Are you really doing much scouting, or is that something this week you might look into a little bit? No, I haven't, we, I haven't looked at a tape of them. We used to scrimmage them. Um, I don't know what their numbers are, but you know, when I was since I've been here, looks for gas for Seymour's always been a good team. They will always play hard. They have a lot of pride there, all the way from Coach Carver. So I, I respect the program and all those kids there in that community. So we're going to have to be better than we were tonight. And uh, if you know, Seymour's going to give us our best effort. We have to we have to be better than that. Well, it should be exciting, a big home opener, and I believe it's family night as well. Kick off of that as well. So congratulations on the big win. We look forward to following you all season. This year. Thanks much. My pleasure, guys. Thank you. It's Coach Ned Neal Searing, Alexa Murkowski Spurs. And uh, again, we're going to be uh, wrapping up their broadcast.